had a full day, but I would love if you would um, be willing just in our in our little bit of time together, David G, just to take us on a little, could you take us on a little meditation journey so people can just sure. get a taste, a little bit sure, of a I taste? Would, could you? Would I, would, you? I, would, I would love that. I would love okay. that. I would love um, that too. So, um, you know, the most important thing about meditation is that you're comfortable. Uh, comfort is queen. Okay. So we always want to feather our nest. So everyone, let's get as comfortable as possible. So if you're standing, find a wall and lean against it. If you're sitting, nestle into your seat. If you want to lay down, rock on, do that, lay down. And so always keep moving towards comfort throughout the meditation. Okay. And I like to begin every meditation by um, sort of just like settling in. So let's close our eyes and take a long, slow, deep breath in. And gently let that go. And let's do that again. Long, slow, deep breath in. Feel that go so deep into you. And gently release it. And now continue to breathe and continue to watch your breath. Simply notice it. Notice how your chest rises as you inhale. Notice how your chest eases as you exhale back out. Notice how the temperature of your breath is a little cooler coming in, a little warmer going out. Notice that your mind is calming. Notice that your body's relaxing. Notice that that swirl outside of you and inside of you is slowing down just a bit. And remember to keep moving towards comfort. Just watch your breath. Feel your body relaxing. There's nowhere else to be. There's nothing else to do except to be right here, right now in this precious, sacred, present moment. And let's ask ourselves a few sacred questions. First, let's ask, who am I when I'm my best version? Who am I when I'm my best version? And just allow answers to flow to you. And next, let's ask, what am I grateful for? What am I grateful for? And just allow that gratitude list to run. Just keep adding people, places, situations, circumstances to that list. Allow it to become so abundant. What am I grateful for? What am I grateful for? Just fill that list. And next, let's ask, what does my heart truly long for? Your heart knows no bounds, so let it just run wild. What does my heart truly long for? And you may want to place your fingertips or your hand on your heart to help tease out some of those answers. What does my heart truly long for?
and how based on the answers to those questions, invite an intention into your awareness. One thing you'd like to see unfold in your life. And this can be just something just for today, this weekend, this week, this month, this year, this period of time in your life, in the planet's life. This could be the big kahuna of all intentions, or just something for today. Invite that intention into your awareness and let it crystallize. Let it clarify. And now invite that intention into your heart into your sweet, tender heart and plant it like a seed in that fertile soil of your heart. Feel it go deep. Feel it take root. Feel it merge with your essence. Feel it become you. And now take a long, slow, deep breath in. You've planted that seed and now let it go. Release it. We'll leave it up to the universe to answer. We'll leave it up to spirit to sort out all the details. And as the great Canadian sage Leonard Cohen said, ring the bells that still can ring. Forget your perfect offering. There is a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. And now place your fingertips on that space where you think you have a crack, where the light comes into you to heal you, where you feel the divine breath of the universe come into you. That could be your lips, your nose, your throat, your heart, your belly, your lower belly, your solar plexus, your third eye. You place your fingertips on that space and allow the divine breath of the universe to flow into you. Feel it move past your fingertips. Feel that healing come in. Allow it to heal you, to soothe you, to strengthen you. And as you exhale, feel it move past your fingertips back out. And if that place changes, feel free to adjust your fingertips up, down, left, right. And let's just stay in the space and allow the healing to unfold. You're not separate from anything. You're never alone. All is well. You are a part of every ripple in the cosmos. You're not in the universe. The universe is in you. You are supported in every moment. And you are a conduit of love. A conduit of energy. conduit of healing. And right now, take a long, slow, deep breath in and feel that unconditional loving kindness of the universe, sweet metta, come into your heart, expand it, crack it wide open. And as you exhale, send it out to someone you know who's suffering, struggling, or in pain. Connect the thread from your heart to theirs. Another long, slow, deep breath in. Feel that healing light coming into your heart. And as you exhale, flow it along a thread that connects your heart to theirs. And just allow that healing to flow to someone else who's suffering, struggling, or in pain. You're just a conduit of healing. 
You're just a love machine, a channel of love. So just allow it. Allow yourself to be that agent of healing. Feel it come into you first. Feel it fill you. And then flow it out. And let's just stay in this space for a few moments. And now let's take a long, slow, deep breath in. And ever so gently let that go. Let's do that one more time. Long, slow, deep breath in. And gently release it. Now let's seal the answers to the questions we asked. Let's seal the intention that we planted. Let's seal this meditation and celebrate the power of this collective by chanting OM, the hymn of the universe, just one time together. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Remember, we transform the world by transforming ourselves. So in this moment, let's trust that we're, we're exactly where we need to be right now. The universe has... This moment is perfect. This moment is whole. This moment is exactly as it's supposed to be. Now feel free to open your eyes. Come back to us. Hello, Tina. Hello, everybody. I am so emotional. That was so beautiful. I hope that everyone um, who participated and who will participate felt what I felt. I was transported and you are such a gift in my life. I love you so dearly and the spirit of you. you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this beautiful gift because in those moments I was not there or here or there was, there was nothing going on, but just beauty. And I just, my whole body is vibrating with gratitude uh, and love and I so needed that. Thank you for taking us on that exquisite journey and reminding us with the in-breath, it's for us and then the out-breath we give it and, and how crucial each of those parts are. The in-breath is for us and then the out-breath is for everyone else. Um, thank you for that. Thank you for that reminder. My goodness. Yeah, well, my pleasure. Thanks for inviting me to uh, hang out with you. Uh, thanks, everyone. Um, you know, together, apart. Like, well, what's that about, right? But together, <laughs> apart, we will ride the storm. We will yes. ride through this together, and uh, we will come out the other side. Stronger, stronger, more powerful, and yeah. with a lot more understanding of why we're actually here. Yes, yes. Please give our love to Peaches. I will do that. <laughs> and... Um, a big virtual hug for your soul until we meet face to face again. I love and adore you. Thank you for your being. Thank you for Thanks your being. So much. Thank you everyone for watching and participating. And um, I appreciate you. I love you. You are not alone. You are not alone. And this too shall pass. Mwah. Big love your way. Thanks everybody.